Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we are going to talk about an accessory that I think is very interesting for the Sony ZV-1. So if you're a Sony ZV-1 user, check this video out. Okay, guys. So yeah, again, this is an accessory that is for the Sony ZV-1. If you're looking for a wide angle lens, check this one out. I originally had the Ulanzi, uh, the WL-1 uh, lens makes it wider. If, you all, if you're not familiar with this camera, the lens on this camera is a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. And so if you're vlogging, this, this camera is marketed as a vlogging camera, but it's kind of tight at 24 millimeters, which is the widest this can go. It's not that it's not usable, but when you're vlogging, you want to you have that wider field of view to capture more, uh, to show more in your story, to show more in your vlog, I should say. So personally, I do like the wider lens. Uh, so that's why I had bought this one. However, I had ended up taking it off. I really hated the way it looked and you have to attach it with an adhesive. Like after three months, I decided to put it back on. This brings extra 3M adhesive tape. All three extras that it had didn't work. They were like old and they just wouldn't really stick well. So this ended up coming off. So I started looking around to see what I could find on Amazon and I came across the newer LS18. And this uh, accessory is really interesting because it makes uh, your field of view a lot wider. Well, not a lot wider. It's the same as the Milanzi, 18 millimeters. But it's not this, you don't have to attach this with, the, with adhesive tape. Instead, it brings like an extension tube. And I'm going to show you guys how this goes on. So this costs $69.99 at the time of filming this, USD on Amazon.com. I'll put links down for you guys to check them out if you're interested. Make sure you check those out. They are affiliate links. They won't cost you any additional money. But uh, yeah, I bought this one. This isn't been sent to me or anything like that. But I thought I'd share this guy with you guys, especially you Sony ZV-1 users, because um, it's a good alternative in my opinion. You're gonna get, with this kit, the uh, LS18, you get the extension tube. You get the extension tube. You get the lens, which brings its lens cap and a rear lens cap as well, which is screw on. And then you get the wide angle lens, right? So you get that wide angle lens. And then it also doubles down as a, a macro lens. There's a macro built-in macro lens here that you just got to unscrew this to get to. Right there, unscrew that. And now you have a, a macro lens, which gives you 0.75 times magnification. So the wide angle lens will convert your 24 millimeter into a 18 millimeter. And then that extra magnification, if you'd like to, to shoot macro style, you got that there. This is very easy to do. It includes those two lenses, the, the uh, extension tube, the bayonet mount, an uh, Allen wrench, a small Allen wrench, because you have to screw this on, a cleaning cloth, and a pouch. So the way this works is very easy. You're gonna mount the bayonet mount onto the camera, and you're gonna push it all the way back until it makes contact right there. I'm going to push that all the way back until it can go, can't go any further in. Make sure that the newer branding logo is on the top right here. And now you're going to screw in uh, the mount right here with the Allen wrench that is provided to you. You can, you can do it this way, but I, I like doing it this way. It's just faster for me. I'm going to put it right here like that. So just make sure you tighten that really well there so it won't move. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the extension tube and you're just going to mount this on. It has a red dot there just like you're mounting a lens and the, the tube also has a red dot. Line those up and turn it clockwise. All right so now it's in place. Now you're going to grab the lens and you're going to screw the lens onto the extension tube. By the way, this is a 49 millimeter, so you're just going to go ahead and screw that on like that. And now it's on there really nice and tight. Notice how the camera is a little bit bigger. It is a little nose heavy now. Obviously, it's a, you're adding a bigger lens on there. You're just going to power your camera on, and it will, it will, it will move forward a little bit. That's, as what, that's all it's going to do. Any zooming, it's just going to move in and out like that but that's the furthest it'll go out. So this is at its widest angle right here. See that little gap there? 
that's at its widest angle. So now it's still a very, fairly compact setup, right? And you want to vlog with this camera, you have a wider field of view now, and you can vlog with this setup. If you want to take it off, just power it off, and you can just take off the tube with the lens, and there you go. If you need to just want to use your lens, you can put this away, put the caps on it. If you don't want to take the bayonet mount off, you can just use the camera like that. So let's take some test shots and look at the uh, difference in the field of view. All right, guys, so this is the Sony ZV-1 with the native lens, the 24 to 70 millimeter at its widest at 24 millimeters. Just notice how much you can see here in my house. All right, now I'm gonna put on the newer LS18. I'm gonna put the wide angle lens on here and see how much wider it is. Let's take a look. All right, so now I have the LS18, the newer adapter lens on here, the wide angle lens. I will point out, it, there is some distortion. You guys can see that? Because uh, I've tested some shots earlier today, just really quick, and I noticed that there is some slight distortion. So just keep that in mind. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is it worth it? Uh, do you like this setup more than the Ulanzi setup? I personally do because I can't rely on the adhesive tape that the Ulanzi has on there. Plus, this does strain the motors on the camera over time. So that's something to consider. Uh, but yeah, let's take a couple of photos with it and see, you know, see what it looks like. So oh, those are a few shots. I'm not into macro photography or anything like that. And honestly, I don't think I'd use this for too much for photography. This is more for video for me in my case anyways. Like I said, I, I have other cameras that I use for photography. This is mainly, I use this for mainly for vlogging. Uh, and this is my setup. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna set this up. One of the good things about this, uh, when you have the wide angle lens on here, it has a 62 millimeter filter thread up top or on the wide angle lens, not up top, on the wide angle lens. So you can add your ND filter on there. And for example, uh, you could combine this with the built-in built -in ND filter, as I did earlier in my one of my test shots when I first uh, was out there testing this out. Um, I have one of the uh, Gobi 62 millimeter neutral density, var variable neutral density filters. And you can just screw that on like that. So you can put on a, you know, uh, a black pearl mist or any, any filter you want, 62 millimeters on here or you could use a step up ring if you need to. Yeah, so that's my setup there. I have the uh, filter on with the wide angle lens. I have my microphone on. And I'm, for now I'm using this little Joby Gorillapod. We'll see how that works out. And so when I, when I want to vlog, and let me get in frame, uh, this will be my setup. It's still fairly compact, as you can see, right? The good thing about this setup is that if you want to just take everything off, you know, unscrew the, the bayonet mount, take the extension tube off, and you're back to your camera stock lens. You don't have this metal ring hanging on the front of it, which I found annoying when I had the uh, Ulanzi wide angle lens on there. Uh, anytime I wanted to take this off and just use the camera stock, I had to keep this on here because, you know, it was, it was stuck onto the front of the lens. And uh, I found that to be annoying. But uh, yeah, I'm just, not crazy about this setup anymore. I do like this setup a lot more. Uh, I know it adds a little bit more weight and it's a little bit, looks a little bit bigger, but all things considered, this is still a small setup for vlogging. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. But I just wanted to, you know, make you guys aware of this accessory that's available now on Amazon. There is a, another brand, but I could not find it here in the US. It's Gizmon, it's a Japanese brand. It's basically the same exact thing. It's sold in the US under newer newer branding. It's just a naming uh, brand naming thing difference, but it's basically the same thing. By the way, the lens is actually aluminum alloy built and it has two elements. Uh, when you turn on the active stabilization on the camera, it converts it to equivalent about 20 millimeters. So when you have the standard stabilization on the camera, it's at 18 millimeters. So just know that that's the difference there between those two. And uh, the extension tube is all plastic and the bayonet mount is a mix of plastic and a little bit of metal in there. 
overall the build quality looks to be seems to be fine to me right now i will update accordingly if this doesn't turn out to be a good product but for now uh the first impressions i, I like what i see i like the uh, image quality doesn't seem to be too different in my my short testing but uh i like that you could set it up this way and add filters to it and you can you know do your vlogging like that and you could take this off so that's it for this one guys thanks for watching let me know down in the comments what you think and uh, i'll link all my accessories down below if you're interested in checking those out but uh, i'm going to be selling my ulanzi adapter wide angle lens and just sticking with the newer